Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of TGCT Live, another designer special where we have two of the best designers in the game um, who've each recreated. They were sent the course file of one of. Uh, I believe, was it just a course that you guys chose, or did you choose. Can I, did you pick Crawford Mines, or was he like, send me one? Um, I can't remember. Did I ask for it? I think I, think I did. It, yeah, I can't remember. It was it was one of the, one way or the other. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. We ended up exchanging. Exchanging, yeah. of course. So yeah. we've got um, back in, I think it was January 2015 or February. Crazy Canuck released um, Midnight Sun Golf Club, the 2016, uh, the original edition, which has been remade by CSU Golfer uh, yep. into the 2016 edition. And many other versions of it, and then Crawford Mines, which was released just well at the release of the game itself, I think, or maybe a bit before that. Um, yeah, I think so. Yep. By CSU Golfer, has been remixed by um, Crazy Canuck. So, Crazy Canuck, welcome along. How are you doing? I am doing fantastic. It's uh, pretty much the weekend, so uh, going golf, going golfing tomorrow. So I'm excited for that. Fantastic. And CSU Golfer, welcome back. How are you doing? Thank you. I'm great. Uh, thanks uh, for having me back on. Yeah, no worries. No worries. So we're going to do Midnight Sun first. Um, we're going to play the 2016 remodel version. Um, but as you can see, the reason I've started on this uh, screen is that there's a classic version which keeps Canuck's original tees that he made. And then there's obviously a version made for the Champions Tour on uh, on TGC Tours. So um, I I'm going to try and not ask you both the same questions, but... <laughs> <laughs> it, yeah, kind of is really, but um, the the thing is, you both got sent good courses. Yes. You know, it's mm -hmm, not as yeah. if you were working on some some rubbish. It was actually. So, how difficult was it, both of you, to find things to improve? Uh, well, for me, with Crawford Mines, which we'll play later, um, hard because it's such, such a great course already. It was uh, it was a lot of touching up, and you know, once we get onto the course, I'll I'll show you guys a few places that I cleaned up and fixed up. So, but yeah, it was tough because it, it was a great one, great course already. Yeah, it was, uh, same thing here for uh, Midnight Sun though. This was a really really good layout, and the moment I saw it, Andre, I knew that um, with big fairways and soft big greens, you you could set this place up a million different ways, from long tees to short tees. So. I just kind of reshaped some bunkers, and you know, but I, I tried to keep as much of the original layout as possible. Um, maybe just got rid of some objects here and there, but you know, we also have more tools now than I think either of us had when we designed these courses to start off too. So yeah, yeah. So yeah, this this course, Midnight Sun. This was kind of like, even though I'd done a whole bunch of you know mediocre courses on Xbox before this one. This was my first course I designed on PC, and I kind of felt like this was the first course where. I don't know. I f I felt like I kind of knew what I was doing with the designer, and you know, people were kind of taking notice of my courses or this course anyway. So, um, mm -hmm. but yeah, it's been you know, it was my first course. It's still probably one of my favorites. It's one of my most played. I think it's got it's up around seven and a half thousand plays. So thanks to the suggested list. Um, 
But yeah, I actually have been holding off to play the remodel, so I'm I'm excited to to see what you've done with this here. Yeah, I hope hope we did it justice here. I tried to keep as much of the original as I could, and I th I think it it turned out great because it's a great layout to begin with. So hopefully you like it. It looks pretty darn good to me so far. It just looks a lot cleaner, which uh, which I like. I, I was originally had it. You know, it was a little bit more unkempt, but uh, I like this clean look so far. Yeah, it's basically just removed a lot of the objects that were in the line of play, just mostly because my computer couldn't quite, you know, handle all the objects were in it because I, I'm working on a laptop. So, and then right. once I did that, went back and kind of filled in some areas later. But a lot of them look pretty good, just filling in with heavy rough. So, kind of kept the uh -huh. green look to it. Uh -huh. We have a full chat room. Welcome along, Mellow Swee. Hi, GTG player Terry Grayson. Phoenix, J, Scob, WGT, Bugsy, thanks for joining us. Welcome along to all our YouTubers. Uh, it'll be interesting to hear from you YouTubers, especially you who've played the originals, what you think about the uh, about the updates. For this for this version, this one we're playing now, did you change anything like... Okay, we'll put it out there straight away. Obviously, when Canuck made this and you made Crawl from Mines, we didn't have cart paths. Right. A lot of the surface tools and so on. But did you change much in terms of things like lighting or green speeds or any of the stuff that you would have had originally? Uh, green speeds and firmness, no. I think they're the exact same as before. Um, I we altered the layout slightly in places, um, but most of it's just cosmetic stuff and, and reshaping some contours and things like that. I tried to keep as much of the, the bunkering and trees and green locations and tea locations where they were originally, except for backing up the back tees into a new new set, which we're playing in this version here. So has this been lengthened? It has. It's been lengthened this by about, has been. Yeah, about 700 yards, I think, roughly. Oh, okay. yeah. I love what you've done with this hole. That uh, This hole plays way differently than the original. It's backed up probably about 50 yards. Yeah. Um, and I, I like, usually in the original, you could just kind of blow it through those trees and try to, you know, shoot through the uprights. Uh, but I, I like this option. Um, the left it was, a, it the was right. a great double fairway. I really like that feature, and I just tried to make it so it you would kind of have like a binary choice there. You could either go over the bunkers left or or go right. And then if you go left and you take a chance, you have more of an angle into this green that kind of sweeps around to the right a little bit. Mm -hmm. Did you change much in the green slopes and stuff? They look yeah, more the, like the greens were. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, the, the greens were more, were reshaped. Um, I try to keep the the same general shape to them, although I think some of them have been shrunk a little bit. Um, but mostly they're the same shape and location. It's just uh, kind of affecting basically where the slopes come in. A lot of them, I think you'll find too that even though this is a, a much longer layout, it's probably not that much tougher than the original too, because the greens are very receptive. Yeah, yeah. You can tell that your trademark green is that you almost have red round all the edges in a lot of cases. I've noticed. And yeah, definitely. That, that showed up. GTG player has asked just about yesterday's. Uh, we played the first two courses on the uh, Olympic design. How are they being ranked? They're they're not head to head. We just we just did two at a time on that show. Um, we'll play them all, score them all, and then we'll do a results show. Yeah. You know, picking I don't know a top five and then a winner or so on like that uh, at the end. But um. Yeah, we had two good ones to start. We did. Yeah, they were a lot of fun. Very great courses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. Very tough. Mm -hmm. Oh, you've put some, uh, what's that, don't keep off the grass signs? Yeah, I, had, I ran out of space to put the cart path, so we're going to pretend that the carts have to go across the fairway there. So. This okay. is great. You've, you've length, you lengthened this hole probably about 150 yards. This used to be a shorter par 4, I think, but uh, I, yeah, like the, I, I like this long It's a great button. layout for the longer tee, but I think I put about 6 or 7 tee boxes in there, so based on how far you want to play it, you can also mm -hmm. change the location of the tee. Yeah. This was one hole I didn't really like with my original one, I just, especially with the lighting and stuff, but uh, yeah, this one looks good. And I had some really ugly planting on the tee, I can remember. Some, like, really uniform, like, rookie planting. <laughs> Thankfully, you've gotten rid of. Oh, nice putt, Els. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> I just when I was going to hit it, I couldn't see because the golfer was in the way. I was just listening for the noise. I didn't hear the noise, but he didn't move, so I was like, oh, I've missed it. And then it, it went on to the next hole, so. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is pretty. Look at this. I, I really loved uh, Andre. The, the pacing of this course was really, really good. It just had like a natural ramping up and down throughout the length, the layout. So I, I tried to keep as much of that as I could. Really, not change the holes the way they played very much. They worked uh -huh. out really good. 
this, yeah, you, what you've done with the rocks here is awesome. I love oh, it. No. It's a trademark Canuck thing is the, the rock uh, walls, so I tried to do it justice here. Uh, it's, it's great. I'm admiring it here. Looks nice. Did you get rid of my bear, though? I think so. I know there so. was a bear on this hole. Oh, I think terrible. so. I, could, I can't remember. It must have been one of the first things I did. <laughs> poaching, sorry. Bear gone. <laughs> I had a bear hanging around the left side of this green, I remember. I can still see the hot air balloon in the background. Flying yeah, there's a plane up there, too, somewhere. That same pilot from last year, just making surfers. They're not, making not letting down. <laughs> <laughs> well... Hello, Chief Banks. Yeah, welcome along. Thanks for uh, retweeting about this show. I presume it was you. If not, you can take the credit for it and no one will even notice. <laughs> Why don't I try turning your settings down a little bit, Alistair? I notice the stream's chugging a little bit. It might just be the Boreal theme, but... Uh, let me just have a quick look. I'm not dropping any frames here. No? No. I, sometimes I find like I don't drop frames, but it's just a little bit. The frame rate dips up and down, but it, it's a lot smoother once I lower it sometimes. All right. That's fine. I'll uh, have a quick look. Just bit. let me get this shot out of the way. <laughs> so, Andre, on uh, on hole five here, the original mm -hmm. T is still out to the right, but it, it there was a, lo a T location between number, or behind number four green that just seemed to work really well for that dog leg, so... I like that. Boxes here, so you're playing across the dog leg, kind of. I like that. I was looking like, what is? What about this hole is different? But yeah, I see that now. Yeah, it's just a I different like angle. That. Although the original, the original ones are still there, and they and they play very well too, uh, especially in firm conditions. Yep. Yeah, I'm going at the pin here. This might not be a decent idea. Oh, bounced nicely. Oh, it's hit the fringe again. The rock hard fringe. Actually, that did really well. <laughs> <laughs> it hit the fringe and landed two foot away. <laughs> Eddie Vedder, what, good evening. Whatever you did, Els vastly improved the stream. Okay, I, I knocked the tree distance down by one click, mm -hmm. and then something else down by one click. Yeah, seemed to do a difference. Cool. Blue Wolf, good evening, welcome along. Ah, Mr. Garcia. animals and not just that like the balloons and stuff that moves a real sap on resource aren't they yeah yes they are i uh just put out a little par three right there is one rabbit on it and it like took half the red bar up <laughs> <laughs> wow i love six what you did with those rocks there did you have those in there before uh they were Terribly uniform planted rock wall, like it was ugly, but uh, this, is, this is how I wanted it to look. So this, this rock thank wall, you. Was, yeah, the the rock wall was the only thing I think I changed here, Andre. Was I put the water in front of the green where it was kind of just rough before, but mm -hmm. it's yeah, it's pretty it's pretty much the same location for everything. That looks fantastic. Some of the best rock work I've seen up there with uh, Mr. Arctic Fury. Yeah, I, I tried to. I've been watching all these other designers use really big rocks, and I hadn't tried that yet, so I figured I'd give it a try in this one. Mm -hmm. And then kind of sinking it halfway into the rough so it looks like it's kind of part of the, the landscape. Yes. Yeah, I've been trying that out too. Yeah. Did you both. Uh, this was obviously. The original was Boreal. Canuck, did Crawford Mines would have been Russ Rural? It, no, nope. Crawford Mine was Alpine, and so Alpine. I, I, I flipped it to Swiss. You flipped it to Swiss. Okay, yeah. cool. Which oh, is a great move, up. obviously. Yeah, it's it way, was. Way, way uh, better, yeah. Yeah, it needed to be done. All right, the wind's got to do me a favor here. Hopefully I'll follow CSU's line there. Ooh, you made this one long. <laughs> yeah, <I> like the, <laughs> the original tee box is there, but I tried to keep the big green so you could, you could work mm -hmm. it a little more toward the hole. Terry Grayson's got a confession. He rage quit his own Olympic course. <laughs> oh, jeez. Well played, sir. Goodness knows what's going to happen when we get on it. Or I get on it. 
this this part are you kidding me where is this going over here oh I like this I'm funneling down towards the hole please come back please oh, come that back. turned out pretty well please oh it is okay not bad I uh, made a birdie oh well played yeah I like how that green kind of funneled that downwards yeah, I think when I took my second shot, I was like, oh, this is going to be a nightmare. Mm -hmm. It looked like a pinball machine. But then uh, I hit it, and it all funneled very nicely. This is pretty. Did you did you change the lighting round at all? Actually, I don't think so. I think this was the original lighting here. Maybe, yeah, maybe this... a little lower in the sky, but but same direction. Mm -hmm. long this this was one of my this was probably one of my favorite part fives oh, that shit. I originally made, this, this hole. Yeah. Really, really good hole. And the only, I think the only thing I changed here, Andre, is around the green, I took some trees out so there was more light on the green. But it's the same yep. location. It's just, it looks a little different now. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Looks awesome. Some of the best uh, long par fives I've played in this game were on this course. All, all four of them were really good. No, oh, thank you. Oh, the bunkers and the green up here are great. Look at that. That's classy. That's nice. That's really, that's a, that's a squee moment. It doesn't make the squee <laughs> noise for me anymore. Why doesn't what? it do it? I yes. don't know. Randomly stop squeeing at me. That's frustrating. I know, it's very annoying. It's a very satisfying noise, that squee. Do you know what I mean? It's like, oh, that's nice. <laughs> come back, come back, come back, come back. Okay, I followed CSU's ball there. Oh man, I am running lips here. Hells, you're tearing it up. I'm doing all right. I know. Who is this guy? I was hoping to do it before you'd notice, because now it'll all go downhill. <laughs> we noticed, so this get happens, ready for some yeah. bogeys. Yeah. Usually, don't play well on my courses. <laughs> yeah. Although I do have a. Although it's technically not good. my course. So. I do actually have a reasonably good record on CSU's courses, except that Champions Nightmare, whatever it was you made. Which was one? It, oh, sorry? Champion, was it Champions Bel course? Bel Belmont? No, no, I'm talking about uh, CSU's course. Oh, that one. What was it called? Um, was it the, the Champions Challenge, Challenge course? Oh, oh yeah. God. <laughs> other, than, other than that, I've got an all right record on your courses, but... Yeah, oh yeah, Canucks, I just get on the green and just fall apart. <laughs> <laughs> I think a lot of people do. Ah, found the bunker. This is nice, nice way you put the... Because the other thing, uh, it doesn't look like you've got any... You wouldn't have had an OB before. Did you put any OB in it? No? I don't think so, no. There wasn't really anything that needed to be out of bounds on this one. There was a lot of playable space on this course, which, which was, you know, great, because you could use a lot of it, basically, in the design. Mm-hmm. This was one hole that I I wanted I have wanted to work on again, and you did a really good job with this this hole here. Thank you. Because Canuck, I mean, um, CSU has done this. Have you mm -hmm. ever remade a course like a 2016 edition or something? Uh, the only one I did was I took my that Nighthawk Canyon, my desert course, and I once we got the new textures, I flipped. But I didn't really remake it. I just flipped it with new textures. So, um, but no. Otherwise, I'm a person that uh, if it's my own course, I build it once and then I never want to look at it again. To be honest, <laughs> I'm like it's done. I don't want it. I will move on to something else. So, I like ten here. I like how it opens up. This is a lot better than what I originally had. There was, yeah, there was just so much, um, there was a lot of space out here to use, so I figured, you know, it looks so good when I took some of the objects out of it, just, you know, leave it as open space and have all the sun mm -hmm. showing, basically. I think oh, I remember the, these rocks, or did you add them? This was here before, wasn't it? The, the, uh, those the rocks, rocks weren't there. Were no? No. Yeah. No, those were this, not This there. is probably one of the only greens in the course that actually went, like, had a... a, a Remodel to it, a completely different layout, basically. Yeah, this looks very different. Yeah, but I like it. A little Although uphill. technically, I think the green's the same. I just cut down that hill on the left and put some rocks mm -hmm. instead of uh, the original. 
Do you know what hole I'm thinking of? Can I, I think it was on that double black course you did. Was it 17 where there was rocks in the middle of a fairway and two levels? Yeah, I think that's, that's true. Yeah, my double black course. That was good. That was, I think, so it's ah! one of my favorite courses and uh, probably my most underrated course, I would say. That Not many people know about that course. That was, that was my second course. I, I built this that course about three weeks after I built this one. That was when I was like design obsessed and I was churning out a course every three month. weeks. Yeah, 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 yeah. You really were. <laughs> yeah. I got well, hooked. After chat this room. Course. Royce thinks this course looks amazing. Uh, what What are the rest of us thinking there? I think it looks great. Oh, I love it. It's a outstanding remodel. Oh, I like this eleventh hole too. Good work on the rock wall there. Yeah, because I, I had a really big, ugly rock wall on here that you've fixed up quite nicely. Come on, go on, right, go, go, to. It was doing so well. Yeah, the rocks at the back there are great. Yeah, there's a lot of, like, really nice, natural... Uh, the, the, the rock walls were all there before, obviously, but they were really good locations. They just kind of showed it off really well, you know? Mm -hmm. A little bit of a touch-up, but I didn't really change much about the location of them, so it was, it was really easy to, to remake it. What do you think you spend the most time on changing? Um, probably the, probably the greens, maybe. Just because uh, I, I basically deleted, even though I kept the same general shape, I deleted the whole thing so I could lay everything down in order um, again. You know, to get the, the layout of the light rough and fairway and then heavy rough and stuff. So. It took yeah. a lot of time, although the layout really didn't change much. Oh, you lengthened this one, didn't you? Yeah, the the old tee's over there on the left, but yeah, it, it was a nice little location here. So, and it brought that second bunker in the the second landing zone into play too. I like that for I like adding that lake in there on the first shot. That's that's good. Yeah, I think actually, yeah, along with the lake on one and eighteen, <laughs> I think I this is the other one kind of expanded too. This second shot is going to go straight in that bunker. You got to pay it. See, uh, that's, right there, isn't it? That's the thing about long par fives is just that second shot you want to still keep, you know, interesting. Because yeah. I, I, I hate the long par fives where you just like bomb a three wood and it's like there's nothing in the way. But that one you really got to pay attention to. Right. Yeah. I, I think that was the mistake I made with this original hole. Is I it was. I think it was sitting around 600 yards, but my second shot, there wasn't really much to it, from what I remember. Yeah, I think that when I played it in the practice round, it seemed like that second, unless you hit the ball in the rough off the tee, that second bunker really didn't come into play. So yeah. just back the tee up so that it came more into play on the second shot. <laughs> oh, wow, this pin's right on a hill. This is, this is my worst kind of putt, because I know if I go <laughs> long, it's going down the other side there. Oh, jeez. And it's over a yellow bit. Oh, no. I'm going to have a tough putt for par now. The last two holes, I've landed my ball in a putt within a foot. And it hasn't gone in. Right. This has to go in. Oh, same again. I'm going to drop one. First bit of red. Oh, oh no. Yeah. Again, New just leader. left the putt. Inches, so, uh, 10, 11, 12, same thing's happened in all three holes. Well, we got a bit of a match going here. Yeah. yeah. 13's great with all the rocks and, oh yeah. This was a nice peninsula green, so I just kind of kept the, I just raised it up basically, and gave mm -hmm. it a little more rock wall, but it's, it's basically the same shape. <laughs> oh, you can't really go at it, but you could probably go over here. Oh, don't. Oh, I thought I was going to get stuck in the rocks. No, I'm good. Oh, my goodness. I have to take a screenshot of this. <laughs> Look at the yoga. My. Oh, this is great. I've never seen that before. Is it the upside down or something? No, I am in the ground, but my leg is like. It's hard to describe. I'll send you the picture after. Yeah. It's, okay. it's great. <laughs> oh, that was good. That was good. Never seen that before. 
<coughs> Terry Grayson says I should be on minus seven, and he's totally wrong. I mean, right. Uh, thanks, by the way, Terry, for playing my uh, par three course straight away, as soon as I came out of it. That's good. Oh, yeah, this is be I love this tee shot. This is my favorite tee shot here. With all that grass and... Yeah, you had the a nice angle. open look uh, in the original course, Andre, and I figured for the last five holes, it was starting to get a little more open anyway, so why not, like, you know, start clearing out trees and, and make it so by the time you get to the end, it's almost like a, a nice wide open look. Yep. Just I think you'll notice that in the last five. Nice. People like looking it. on the stream will see that I... Uh, there's a really good view. If you just look at the, from the green across those red and pink flowers, and then the hills at the back there, that's a really nice view. There's not even much course in it, it just looks great. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right, let's... Ooh, this pin. <sighs> now, one yeah, testament on to this course, i got to tell you, Andre, is really cool, is it, it, we have it set up now with a multi-pin version for the, the CC Tour, which is the yeah. original tees with relatively easy pins. And then I went back and I, I made it fast and firm, and I, I, I'm setting up a multi-pin for like a pro tour that, and both of them play exactly how they should. So that's just a, a you know a great little bit of designing right there when you can set the course up so many different ways, and yet that's it plays awesome. in different difficulties. You know, it's really cool. Yeah, that is pretty cool. It must be good for both of you to see a course that you made, and see what someone else is. It's like when someone does oh, a yeah. cover version of a song, yeah. you know? It's pretty neat. It's pretty yeah, absolutely. neat. Absolutely. Because in truth, most cover versions butcher the thing. But uh, I was uh, really interested to see what you were going to do with this 15 here. Yeah. And I like if it. If you get a chance, Andre, also that there is another T back to the right that I didn't use that makes it into an unreachable par 4. And you could stick a T oh, back okay. there yep. and make it a full, oh, yeah. you know, full par 4, basically. Did you add that? Oh, that I see that, yeah. Uh, hey. Is that going to oh. turn up in one of those CC rounds? No, uh, there, it is in one of the CC rounds, yeah. And then when you have that, it actually makes it into like a full nine or eight iron into the green from that left side. So it, it's like a completely different hole. We've both added the plus one on there, haven't we? Oh, you guys almost. <laughs> oh, I'm, I actually went across the green off the other side. Interesting. <laughs> this oh, is I'm probably to to. the toughest pin on the course, I got to say, for, for this, oh. uh, this hole. Oh. Get up. Oh, are you kidding? You're not joking, are you? Look at that. <laughs> this is nasty. <laughs> you see that big bit of green in the middle? Why didn't you put it there? <laughs> Where pe people can actually... Oh, there we go. This has got to go in. Oh, no. Oh, no, don't you dare. Don't you... <sighs> Bye. Uh-oh, spun back. Bye. Oh, down. Yeah. See, if you had put the pin there... Yeah, it'd be perfect. It would be perfect. Mm -hmm. In fact, I've rolled so far back, I'm almost off the other side of the green again. Yeah. I'm off the other side of the green again. Six, I couldn't even recognize 16. You really opened this up. It looks great. I did, yeah, exactly. Because you had the um, you had a nice flat spot on the top left there, so I figured that, that would probably be a good place for like the entry road up there. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. just kind of cleared the hill out from there because it really made the lighting kind of stick. I can't get up this hill. Oh, I couldn't find it. I'm going to have to chip on the on green. this huge I fairway, I couldn't find it. I hit that as hard as he would, and it wouldn't go up that hill. Try again. Right, he's made it. Oh, no way. Are you not up again? Yeah, it's come down again. We permit you to chip on the green. <laughs> I won't tell anyone. It's gone past where I hit that from. It's all gone wrong. Well, yeah, no, I hit sad. that with full power, so he couldn't have hit that any harder, and it couldn't make it up the hill. <laughs> yeah, it'd probably be some chipping from the green to that pin. I'm going to give it one more go. Here we go. This is going to go in. I love that. No, it's it's okay. It's it's actually landed on the fringe, but I've now got a four foot. Okay, I'm gonna drop three shots there. That was tough. 
Dread One hole little short screwed par my four. round up. A little short par four. <laughs> Slightly controversial pin, but as long as you get it over the green, it'll be okay. But well, it's, you guys uh, managed it on... Are you talking about 15? Yeah, 15, yeah. Yeah, you guys managed it, so it's doable. That's just a I regular my, Canuck pin right there. I, my <laughs> thing is, my original shot there landed in a bunker. And that chipping out of the bunker, I played a flop shot and it just rolled straight down the hill. Yeah, it spun back, yeah. Yeah, and then it just... I had to really... Well, just whack it. <laughs> <laughs> Disappointing that I was doing very well. Yeah, nice. I like the way you've done all the bunkers on this one. They're all either U or W shaped. Uh huh. Yeah, I like that. kind of, uh, you know, the peninsula brush was very friendly on this one. It's quite dangerous to flop shot on this. Yeah, a lot, there's a lot, of yeah, a lot of front greens that can spin, definitely. Scary ones, yeah. Yeah, I like that hole. That one got a, a good, well-deserved makeover there. That was nice. 16, you mean? 16, under? yeah. Yeah, yeah. It, it's a really good hole. I mean, they're, they're, honestly, besides the little stream going across, I don't think it really changed much about the layout. Uh -huh. It just kind of cleared some objects out. Mm -hmm. It's a really good hole, really good design. Now, 17 is incredible what you've done with the rocks here. That's awesome. That is awesome. It was, a, it back was a really cool hole to begin with. And yeah, just up on that hill, it, it worked out really good. Mm -hmm. It was a fun hole to design. Now, it also, on this one, this is another one where if you go back to the tee, there are two alternate tee boxes, and there's one way, way right that'll play to the, to the middle of the green as well. Okay. So there's a lot of options to play. Different yep. N's and T's. Oh, I see that, yep. Yeah, this is great. This is fun to see, like, it's like your your little course all grown up. <laughs> it's, Did it's you enjoy fun, doing man. this, remaking oh, uh, it? Yeah, absolutely. I, I love doing it. This is what, you know, like when when you're playing courses that you know every day and you just say, oh, I, I, should, I wish they would stick a tee back there or I wish there'd be something, to, like things that go around in your imagination when you see that, it's kind of cool to put that in, in real life or in reality. It's kind of neat. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I just put it up the hill and back to the middle of the green. It's coming straight back to my feet. See? How does it feel? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I I really enjoyed this finishing hole, my original one. This is this is really good here. Oh, except I missed the fairway. No. Oh boy. Oh, it stays on the green. Okay. Stop. Uh oh. My one oh, shot leaves in jeopardy here. Well, I bogeyed 17, so you got two there. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Couldn't two putt after I left it at my feet. Oh, I was able to save my par. Wow. Well, that was impressive. Um, I absolutely love what you've done with it. It's uh I love what you do place. I love what you do. <laughs> I know, right when I said it I, that's what it sounded like. Uh, I'm glad yeah. you liked it. Yeah, it was a, it was a pleasure to work on this place. I really just liked the layout a lot and basically didn't really change anything about the design, just kinda reshaped a few things and cleared some objects out and that was it. So mm -hmm. it was a lot of fun. It was fantastic. Yeah. Is it you've obviously made the C C tour version. When is it on tour? Uh, it's going to be, I think it's week 33, so it's a few weeks off. 
Yeah. Um, I can't remember the name of the tournament, but there's a four pin setup and it has different tees and pins for each round. So um, that's mostly from around the 7,100 yard mark. Um, I'm working on a multi pin right now. That'll be if they decide to host a big event here, it'll be around what we played today, but it will be firmer and faster. So it'll be this fairly probably about seven, five, seven, six. Uh, I think on the card, it's about 7,850, but wow. it probably plays a little shorter based on some elevation. Yeah. Okay. And I would have done all right if it had not been for that one hole that yeah. ruined it all. So I, I thought that was absolutely easy 10. Great reimagining of the uh, the original course. And uh, I, I hope people do more of this sort of stuff. It's, um, I hope so too. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, it's fun. fun. It's really fun. So let's try the other one then. Crawford Mines. Yeah. Now whereas CSU's was more of a makeover... I would say this one, I did more of like an airbrush to this course. But it was <laughs> not, <laughs> I, di I didn't add any, I barely touched anything in terms of what it looked like. I, I didn't touch, I didn't add new pins, I, or sorry, I didn't add new greens, I didn't really do much with shaping. I just did some very minor little alterations. I did a big theme flip, obviously. Yeah, and yeah. then um, it was mostly visual. And play definitely playability. So I uh, definitely ramped <laughs> like you know Crawford Mines wasn't difficult enough. I think I made it harder <laughs> accidentally. No. Um, yeah, I th I firmed it up a bit, and uh, but yeah, I made a few little tweaks that uh, that you'll you'll see. But uh, this is just an you know it's a classic. So this is an iconic hole. This number one. Mm -hmm. I, I I love this. I, I, first of all, I already love the uh, the rock walls on the left and the overgrown stuff, you know, up in the water. It's it's exactly the look that like it should have for I think the setting. You know, it worked out really yeah. good. Mm -hmm. So you flip the the theme from we said this earlier, Alpine to Swiss. Yep. What else is different then about hole one? The rocks are different. Uh, right? Yeah, I definitely changed a lot of the the rocks. I, like I added all the rocks and the bushes and. I, I did a lot of kind of outside the hole stuff. That one there is cool. Just, just to kind of add to some more ambiance, I guess. But, you know, yeah. in terms of like, I, I didn't touch a green break. I didn't. Uh, I changed a couple pins here and there, but I think this pin is the original. Like, uh, I didn't do much with that. Like, there were, were no big remodels of greens, or there were a couple, but nothing major. Like, touch I thought firmer, about it, but I'm like, it's a touch firmer. Yeah. It's definitely a touch cool. firmer. Has this one been selected for a tour yet? Do we know? I don't think... I think someone had mentioned maybe getting this multi-pinned for... Oh, that should have been shit. ...something, been but I <laughs> haven't gotten around to it yet. That just rolled over the hole. Yeah, I was watching that. It looked like it was going in. Ah, uh, stop. Oh yeah, and I did add a couple actual mines, by the way, as well. See if you can find them. Landmines? <laughs> no, like... Oh. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> the landmines. <laughs> Different game then, isn't it? But yeah, uh, this here is great. The rocks at the back of this one as well. Yeah. This Perfect is one. this is my favorite ever hole, because uh, in Q School, I aced this hole, and that's what got me my Euro card by one stroke. Otherwise, nice. I would probably still be on the web.com. So, thank you to this hole. Excellent. Yeah. What's the play on this hole? A four iron? Or is that going to be long? Well, I just hit four and I, and I lofted it up, but it, it ended yeah. up just over the green. I think I put... I think I t changed this pin a little bit. I'm going to loft this up. But you want to kind of be short. Yeah. Short right or... Long's not too bad. Short it's right. And, yeah. That's too much, that. Nah, still got it too hard. This one's a bit of a bit of a nasty one here. It definitely plays, uh, I think, much better with the oh, firmness that you put on it, where you can't yeah. just land it right on the target. Now you have to play a little of the slopes. Mm-hmm. Well, that's definitely what I was trying to go for. Yeah. But yeah, nothing too much else here other than you know, obviously just some planting. Did you change the lighting at all? Yeah, lighting was changed. Yeah, was pretty, say, significant, really pretty significantly, actually. Yeah. I did a lot of playing around with the lighting, so. Oh, I love this third tee shot. Oh, two holes in a row where the ball's rolled over the hole and not dropped. There we go. 
Ah, uh, yeah, three I, I definitely fixed up a bit. Uh, yeah. Just saw that water on the left there, but uh, I really like this hole uh, the way originally. Well, I didn't touch anything to do with the hole. I think it's great. I love that little tiny green. Yeah, just over the bunkers, yeah. that uh, yeah. The rock wall off the tee looks amazing there. I love that, that look. Thank you. In the uh, chat room, Chief Banks has said there's almost a great satisfaction of remaking an original course of yours. That's hmm. how he felt when he remodeled one of his. Yep. I've, yeah. I've felt that on the ones when I've done it. Updated. Yeah, I have to agree. <laughs> it's a funny feeling, but it's, it's, uh, it's, it is fun just because, you know, you look back at your previous work and you're like, you know, I can do these things better, I guess. Right. See, it's funny, like, I'm just, I don't like deleting things in this game because it's a pain in the ass. But <laughs> maybe that, I don't know if that's just me, but... I don't know. And now they've got the area delete tool. It's, yeah, you know, it makes it makes it a little bit easier for sure. I like how you can just see the flag here poking over the top of those bunkers. Because otherwise you wouldn't actually be able to see the pin, which is fine. Not not a problem, but it's just nice that actually. Yeah. Oh, that rolled. That rolled a lot. <laughs> Terry Grayson remodeled one of his and made it vastly worse. Well, okay. good job. <laughs> Nicely done. We've all been there, mate. We've all been there. Yeah, there's a fine line between going back and, um, you know, uh, making something better by re-editing it and then being kind of obsessive about it. You know, it's hard yeah. not to continually change things, but sometimes you just got to go with it. Mm-hmm. That's been my whole design process ever, ever from the start. I just I build it one. Yep, that's good. Move on. Like I, yep. that's why I build one hole to completion, and then you know I I do a quick last minute check at the end, but I very rarely make like big, big changes at the end. It's just like one and done, and that seems to work. I was yep. going to ask that Same with here. these these two remakes you've done. Did you sort of go right hole one? This is what we're going to change. And then do it hole two, hole three, or did you say right? I'm gonna do. How did you How did you go about? Um, I went around. You know, I, I played a couple practice rounds, and I kind of wanted to get a sense of what I wanted the remake to look like, more in terms of like, you know, rocks and trees and stuff. But uh, yeah. from there, I built hole hole to hole. Yeah, same here. Same here. Just you get a, you get a feel for how, what the plot's like, and then you kind of dive in hole by hole and try to yeah. get you know get the general feel. Yeah. HP Studios, Keith, welcome along. Have you guys been reading Paul's dev diary thread about the course designer? Posted in there quite a bit today. A lot of interesting info. I haven't seen that yet. I will do. But if it's anything like the info, the stats you bought. Everyone loves good stats. A good stat and a good list. You can't beat them. Uh, but um, Everyone loves yeah. it. Uh, but, uh, yeah, if there's anything like that about the design, that'd be great. What do you reckon is... the most designed theme is? Ooh, mm, that's a I don't know. I reckon it might be Boreal. Yeah, or Countryside, maybe. Countryside's great. Yeah. Um, you can do a lot of different things with it. Now, I think this is one of the holes that I did a little bit of altering to. And I'm trying to remember what I did. I think you added <laughs> that tree on the right. I definitely I added that, that tree. Yeah, yeah I, I definitely added it. that tree. Good. Oh, <laughs> that's, man. that's the point. Yep. I took the bait. Now I did have you just hit a tree? I, yeah, I hit the tree, and now I have nothing. I, I, I'm going to have to lay up to the left, I think. I thought I did something else here. But maybe not. Maybe I just added the tree. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> it's obviously in a very good place because you really have to think about going around that. I don't know if I should have ended up hitting that shot. Oh, this green is mini. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. It's, uh, these greens are super tiny, and I didn't want to change it. I, I, I think that's part of the, the charm of it. I added a little maintenance shed up there, but uh, that's about it. Oh yeah, that is. Was going to ask, was that there already? Army of lawnmowers to that side, that thing. Yep. yep. <laughs> Army of lawnmowers. Terry Grayson said that second shot was intimidating. Indeed. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much impossible to hold it in two. But it's par five, so. 
Well, I managed to make a birdie after laying up on the second shot, so I think I made a birdie more like that than actually going for the green here over the years. So. There you go. The course plays oh, really that well ball is still it's, going. when it's firm like this, when you mm -hmm. made it a little firmer. Oh, Els, you're running away there. It stopped and then started moving again. Dear. The red slopes have got me today. Anyway, <laughs> we'll see. Wait till you get to six. I'm going to rage quit before then. Six is, um, if anyone is familiar with Crawford Mines, probably has the most infuriating <laughs> green complex in the world. And uh, I really, I knew it going in, and I really wanted to do something with it. And I'm like, ah, oh, like I don't know, this is borderline, you know, crazy. But uh, then I thought, you know what, I'll, it adds to the charm. So, you know, I played around with it a little bit, and uh, I think I ended up making it worse. So, <laughs> you, you can be the judge. But it's very tough to hold. It's, uh, it slopes very severely back to front. And if you don't land it right in that about, you know, five or six yard area, you are going to roll about 30 or 40 yards down the hill, which I just see Dario doing, doing right, right now. now. Yes, I did not play that. Very okay, well. so then, okay, so h help me out then. So I'm 70, uh, 67 yards back with 31 feet in the air. What sort of shot should I be hitting to not do that? I need it to stick. Oh, I'm way short too. Um, yeah, I would hit maybe like a... 67. Uh, a lob wedge would make it at 75. Yeah. You want I think you want to land it right about at the pin and skip just past it. But I want to yeah, and then just use the yeah to trickle back. I remember when this course first came out, Taste was so he hated me for for this hole. Like he had a vendetta and he made a he made a oh, YouTube video specifically to show how this pin was not good. Oh, you've had that done by Taste too. I had yes. that done too by him. Oh, I've rolled back. Yes. I took it. It's like a badge of honor to have that. It done. is. It is. He did that on my first hole at the Capilano Club. Yeah. Yeah. Made a video on that one, so I felt honored. So I, I rolled back there, but only just hit the red slope at the top. I don't really know what to do now, so I don't. Oh, yeah, you mean you're on, you're on top of it? No, I'm rolled down the hill. Oh, I gotcha. Pitch. But a pitch rolls back, doesn't it? Yeah. The other thing you can do is you can take a flop shot and take like a pitching wedge with it and take a little bit off of it because it'll take some spin off of it. Right. I'll be right I'm back, guys. I'm scared to do a flop shot here. Oh, I'm going to do it anyway. No, good shot. Ugh. Ooh, oh, there you go. That yeah. might have worked. Yeah. Yeah. Good shot. Yeah, well played wow. there. Yeah. What kind of shot did you end up playing there? Flop shot. Okay. With a yeah, picture. Yeah, was well played. Yeah. Yeah, whenever I, I, I left it short of that green a lot, and whenever I did that, I just ended up taking more club and trying to take less speed with it so that it wouldn't rip back when I when it yeah. landed. That's one of those holes, right? Similar, Actually, you know, it's similar with the one that I three-putted in your your one. That mm -hmm. If we were playing not on a stream where we kind of go quicker than usual, uh, I've, right. I've made a mistake. However, if I actually sat there and thought about it... Yeah. Yeah, I hear you. Yeah. yeah. Which, it's funny because, you know, when we're judging courses for, like in the Olympic contest, for example, a lot probably the best course for tournament play is one that you have to play six or seven times before you're ready to play it in the tournament. But yeah, right. since we're playing it for the first time, it can seem for, so frustrating. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 This hole's my favorite, I think, the way it turned out. I did change the green here. I added a little bit more at the back, but uh, which I think it needed done, right? With the firmness, it looked it like yes, it probably couldn't yeah. stop it quite as well. You so. couldn't stop it, so yeah. It oh yeah, okay. Help. So there's a little bump there behind the pin. That's nice. I like that. You know what you've done really well, Andre, is the it like. The theme of the original course, obviously, was it was supposed to be, you know, like a mining quarry. 
but mm -hmm. with the limited tools we had back then, there wasn't much we could do, but you've used it really well with the rock walls and everything to feel like the whole course is just cut out of a giant, you know, quarry with really steep slopes. So. Yeah, that's kind of what I was trying to trying to yeah. accomplish there. It turned out really good. Thank you. Top's another one there. <sighs> this is a nasty hole. I bogeyed it. I feel like I use the chip shot a lot more than other people do in this game. I tend to roll the ball more to the pin than I do use yeah. the flop shot from just off the green. Mm -hmm. I used to do a flop shot from like five yards. I didn't, I didn't care. Like wherever it was, I'd do it. But I stopped yeah. doing that now and chipped a bit more. But I find the chipping just flies. This ball's doing a proper dance around this green. Where's it yeah, going? this one is like a <laughs> bit of a funnel. Yeah. <laughs> oh, too far here. Yeah, I'm doing the same thing else as you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and land the ball in the short of the front left edge and see if I can get it to stop uh, coming up to the right. I just felt like, so that was just a regular chip and it's rolled from one end of the green to the other? Go, 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 go! Evil green. <laughs> There's a few evil greens on here. Go in the hole. Go in. No, oh, that's going to be another two shots dropped at least. Good hole though, Andre. I gotta see, like if I had played it a, a, one club less, I think I would have landed perfectly so that it would have just caught the bottom of that red slope. And yeah, I practiced like that that hole a bunch of times. I, I was getting them so I could get it within like three or four feet, but you yeah. gotta hit it just right. Yeah. This is pretty. Isn't I it? love the rock wall on this one, yeah. Really nice. Oh, thanks. Whatever it is with the lighting, I guess it's maybe the weather. The, the little bit of a haze and the, the snow in the background gives it just a really interesting feel. Mm hmm. Crisp, isn't it? Yeah, very. Yeah. yeah. I always, whenever I'm doing that, like I like the low lighting. You just, you try to, you try all the different orientations and you see, okay, how many holes look. I always go and I have. Great looking holes, okay looking holes, and garbage looking holes. And just yeah. trying to, you're you're always going to get two or three or four garbage holes, depending on because you're not going to be all facing the same way. So right, yeah. This seemed to be the best one, and you know some of these these holes coming into the finish the front nine have some of the best lighting. Yeah, but we're, we'll we'll get to a few where the lighting's you know not as not as great, but there were very yeah, minimal agree. holes where it was like, ugh, this looks ugly. So. Right. Yeah. And then w with those kind of holes, you gotta you gotta counteract it with something else to to make it pop, right? Yeah. I usually try to do on the holes that are looking away from the sun, where you know there's no shadows. I try to either add a whole bunch of objects or mm -hmm. um, try to use as much of like the natural terrain, like there's no no heavy rough on it or anything, because it gives a right. little bit of a different texture instead of uniform texture. Yep. Another great looking rock wall on the left of 10 there. Oh, Love that look. Yeah, I, I, I definitely cause... spent some time with that one. Yeah, it looks great. Yep. I look back on this course and I'm like, what was I thinking making all these huge drop offs before we had out of bounds or unplayable lies? Because if you hit it down there, you have no way to get it out. Mm hmm. And I looked at all those steep drops, and I'm like, how, like, you know, some of them, like, they're just right against, uh, they just, the drop into the lake is just so steep. Yeah. And you know, so, I, I was trying to, like, you know, hide it in places, but then I'm like, right. oh, the whole course is like this. But, you know, you just, like, <laughs> you go with it, and it's, it's great. So, I, you know, I just added it in some places, but, you know, just let it, yep. let it There flow. was a lot of that in early access courses, though, where there would just be great, chasms in the middle of courses and stuff and you sort of got on with it I guess you realized you were going to yeah. 11 and that was that but. yeah like I started doing some like real major low oh. just to see what it looked like but it really took like a lot of the dramatic yeah you know features of the course away so 
Well, you covered up a lot of them really well with bushes and rocks, and that that's, you know, looking back on the original design, that's what it really should have been, is just all those, you know, covered up areas with rocks where it's just steep rock walls cut out of a quarry, so you gave right. it a real good theme with the way you redid it here. Yeah. Thank you. Another awesome looking hole, number 11. I love that rock mm -hmm. wall. Nasty green here. They're all nasty. <laughs> they are nasty. This one you want to aim left. Funnel it down. Yeah. Oh dear. I think I took a little extra loft on the six iron, but I think I'm over the green still. Oh, not too bad, I guess. Just in the fairway. See, I don't want to chip here. It says I should chip, but. It's 12 yards, I'm going to flop it. I think on 12 is where I added my first mine. Now I'm not very I'm not very good at at like trying to make things look like other things. Like some people are really good at that, like taking objects and you know making train tracks. And I, yeah. I just don't know how to do that. So oh, that I made a, a very weak attempt at making a mine up at the, up in the bottom up at the back left there. Oh yeah, that's some cool. Tarmac it, on a hill. Yeah, yeah, yeah and covered it with rocks. It kind of works. Very cool. Yeah. So don't zoom in too close because it looks like crap. But from a distance, it looks fine. And then I tried to do another one on the next hole, I think, as well. The uh, the rock wall behind the green is just another really awesome good, look. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. I really like this hole. It looks like at any point you could be on that green and there could be a massive avalanche. Yep. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ooh, well, I might pick up a shot here. Oh yeah, nice shot. Nicely done. I've, I've forgot my own rule of never chipping. Flop from four yards, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, because when you have firm and fast greens, you chip it and it just flies. Yeah. You, you flop it and it, it might fly, but it comes back to where you want. <laughs> This was one hole that, bunk is nice on the right. that I, I did not really do anything to, to be honest. It was, I loved the original and I didn't really touch it. Oh, I was so close to going in the rough. Oh, uh, what, what shot am I doing here then? That 225 is not going to make it. Yeah, I'm, I'm right next to you. Do you know what? I'm going to I'm gonna hit the three wood and just hit the bunker at the back. That's yeah, what I'm doing. You're actually not even going to make the bunker. You'll just be up on the rough. You'll be fine. I think I might make the bunker. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> easily. <laughs> <laughs> Never well, mind then. I don't know what just happened, but I hit a three wood solid and I somehow duffed it into the tree and went in the water. Oh, oh geez. I that not down. sure. That was weird. It was in the fairway too. It was kind of strange. Oh dear. Oh, just about landed in the hole. Oh, I saw oh, I hit that the flag. Boom. Smash! Yeah. Probably a good thing, because I think it was going to bounce over the green. Chat room, what are we thinking about this one? I know there's been a fair few of you. Terry Grayson has said the f uh, individual shots have been outstanding. HB Studios, he saw a pie chart with the course themes. Where did he see that? I'd love to see what the... I still think Boreal's going to be the winner. But, um... It's still I have a feeling be. Desert might be up there. Yeah, that's a true. Yeah, yeah, good point. I think so. Oh, I shanked now. Oh. I have a feeling Alpine's going to be up there. Yeah, because it was the first one, you're right. Yep. Yeah. yeah. And it's, you know... What do you think would be bottom? Lynx. Lynx Original Lynx. Lynx. I think. Yeah. Thanks, Terry. 
This is a. This is. A, I like the colours here. The way the sh the sun's making the green stand out. Isn't yeah. It? Yeah. This is very nice. This one I played with the lighting and stepped back and said, "Next hole." Didn't about do much there. <laughs> oh, just not got up that red slope again. I um. I noticed that when I was making my Swiss course that actually, if you use green as your colour, then actually. Uh, you can mix the greens very well. So I hit the ball, it made the top of the red slope, and it's rolled past me, now down a fairway. <laughs> there it goes. It's going back to the tee. Now stay there. Okay. Oh yeah, good shot there. Good recovery. That's much better. See? Flop. Never chip. Yep. Only flop. Only flop. That's right. This, I was building this hole. Um, I was... And I was watching the Masters. And th I was doing this hole when Spieth knocked it in the water. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> it's like you remember where you were when you saw that. I was designing this hole. Well, not designing, touching up. This was the hole that, at least when oh. I was first designing it with the surface tools, this is the one that really got me going on the surface tools for this game. You know, it really hooked me because, I don't know, there was just something about the way that you could create like a cape hole suddenly. Mm -hmm. That just made it a whole lot more interesting. The game kind of took another step at that point. Yeah, right. Yeah. Did you just go in the water, Knuck? I just pulled it? a speeth. I was just talking about it. I just put two in the water. <laughs> oh, nice. Wow. That's I am going to play out to the left to make sure that doesn't happen. I took way too much off. Oh, again! <laughs> oh, the ball yeah. just rolls over the hole. That was not going fast enough to make it. Nice triple bogey there. Ouch. Ow. Oh, you were on the hole before. All oh, right. Okay. I'm going to go over here. It's funny, these... You can remember the original courses so easily. But, like, these have just taken on a complete... Yeah, definitely. They're almost like new courses, but... I, I love the look. It's just one of those holes. This looks like, because of the rock work on both the left and the right, it just looks like the green's just cut into a hillside. So it's, it's just a really good yeah. look. It, it's what the original course was supposed to be, but you've just taken it to the... You know, to where... Uh, yeah, where that's really what I felt about there. Midnight Sun, what you did. It's like, that's what I dreamt it was supposed to look like. Terry Grayson has asked if I've ever rage quit a stream. Not only have I never rage quit a stream, I have never rage quit on anything. It really, like, I'm playing Rocket League the other day, and you go 2 0 down, and everyone on your team quits. And it's just like, what's wrong with you people, right? So, it's so, like, dishonorable to do that, you know what I mean? Like, it's so bad. I rage quit all the time. I know. <laughs> but, okay, if you're just playing by yourself in a in a round, then fine. That's not me. If you're playing in a tournament or in a team, <laughs> yeah. you just randomly quit. It's like all these people on FIFA. They go one nil down and they just quit. Yeah, it's that's like, not oh. fun. They should ban people for that. that. Gen generally, like two strikes, and then you're out. You never get to play FIFA again. Not online. You what? get like a two month ban. So the dream is alive. I've picked up two shots on 16 and 17. Basically, I need to get this half five and a hole in one to get under par. So this is a nasty finishing hole. It is, yeah. Well, I really like the rock work you've done under the clubhouse there. Thank you. You feel like if enough people pushed hard enough, you could push that clubhouse down the hill. Yeah, I think I added that clubhouse because <laughs> I, I don't think I don't know if you had a or you had a clubhouse, but it was just like. You just like plopped a house down, I think. Yeah, it was an afterthought, definitely. Yeah, yeah. So I'm just like, ah, eh, clean that up a little bit. All right, I am 
sorry, I'm a little behind you guys. I'm just getting 18T now. Oh no, I'm in the light rough. Oh, this was when I was first when I first played this remake. Um, when I first played the preview of it, I sped through it. This was my favorite remake of the entire course. This tee shot just sets up uh, so well. Cut into that hillside. I don't know why. It's maybe it's the little alcove that you put the the, the rocks in the inside of the dog leg. Just love the look of it. Thanks. Oh, I chipped in for eagle to finish. Boom! Oh, well done. Oh, nice. Oh yeah, just seen that. Do you know what I haven't seen on this game recently? Do you remember you used to see like someone else playing and you'd say, "Oh, I got a hole in one," and then on my stream you didn't. Now, when you say I've got an eagle or I've got whatever, it actually happens every time. Yeah, I think it's still sometimes you get the discrepancy. I know playing match play, it happens. You know, you see, it, it goes in on one person's, but it doesn't on the other. But I haven't noticed it as much. But I know sometimes when I'm playing, you notice it all the time. Others, you know, not so much. Mm. Uh, nice shot three, in barrels. Yeah, three yellows on the back. Final three holes. Those are yeah, tough closing holes. Great, Andrew. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's just a couple of little greens there that just got me, I think. I've got the fairways in regulation, I think, most of it. But, um... So, CSU golfer, how did he do? It did great. I love the look of it. I love how, um, it, in particular, the whole theme of being in the quarry just really pops with all the rock work and the bush work and, you know, the, the theme switch and everything. It's just everything that the original course needed um, taken into that next level. So, A+, plus, 10 out of 10 for me. Oh, thank you. Fantastic. Yeah, I thought it was really, really good. This was still one of my favorite courses ever, the original. And it's like, there's, there's no point in me playing the original now because this one's out. Do you know what I, I mean? Agree. It's, totally it's that good. Yeah. Like, uh, so, uh, yeah, congratulations. So, I hopefully we'll see more people try and do this sort of thing. There's no reason why, uh, you know, I think most people will be willing to share their courses and see what people uh, people yeah. do with them, but um, uh -huh. you've sent me um, Great Lakes. That's right, yeah, and, uh, and I hope, you know, I hope you have fun designing with that. Was a, it was a great design from early access, but it is in desperate need of a facelift, and I hope you can... Uh, yeah, you know, bring your own touch to it. So I look forward to seeing how it turns out. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm actually that's my next project to start. Now I finished my little par three. So uh, great. Well, look, thanks everyone very much for for watching once again. Um, Canuck CSU, thanks very much for coming on and sharing your uh, design tips. Thank you. Thanks for having Thank me. Thank you. Yeah, that was fun. Brilliant. All right. Well, look, thanks everyone for watching. We'll see you back next week for uh, regular TGCT live and uh, hope you all have a good weekend and uh, we'll see you then.